Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the draw for the knockout stages of the 2021-22 UEFA Women's Champions League. First and foremost, congratulations to the eight teams involved in today's draw, who all navigated successfully the group stages and have their sights now set on May's final in Turin. The last couple of months were revolutionary for women's club football in Europe. And when I say this, it is not an exaggeration. For the first time, we've had a Women's Champions League group stage that was visible to everyone. This has meant greater professionalism, more eyeballs, and finally giving top players the platform they so richly deserve. And I must tell you, and I probably did already, I get goosebumps every time I hear this anthem being played before our matches, and it really makes me want to plan my comeback again. But unfortunately, then I have to realize, wake up quickly and see these ambitions are over. But joking aside, the point is this gets us excited and this competition is truly something to be proud of together. It is also something that stresses how important it will be going forward to further develop women's club football and to ensure that boys and girls are being treated equally when it comes to playing opportunities on the ground. Aside from giving a greater platform for players to thrive, the new format has also given fans of our sport greater clarity. With a centralized match schedule, now everyone knows exactly when the matches are being played and how to watch them. Our groundbreaking TV deals with The Zone and YouTube allow for a worldwide audience to follow this competition and this even for free. And in the first season, and despite COVID, it's also brought us some fantastic attendances. And with more and more clubs moving their matches into bigger stadia, the direction is absolutely clear. Over 18,000 watched PSG beat Real Madrid at Parc des Princes. More than 12,000 came to the Emirates to watch Arsenal play title holders Barcelona. And Juventus welcomed more than 16,000 fans in their match against Chelsea. And we know why this is, because who wouldn't want to watch the world-class talent in our competition? Girelli, Hoot, Katoto, Aslani, Endla, Kumagai, Puteas, Midema. There's simply too many stars to name them all and simply too many household names you don't want to miss out on. And allow me to finish by congratulating a couple of players. One of them scored, six, scored eight goals in six matches and delivered a decisive performance for her club, Wolfsburg, to actually make it to the quarterfinals on the last match day. Congratulations, Tabea Wasmuth, for being the top scorer of this season's competition so far. And talking about goal scorers, there is another one to be highlighted. A special one, one that had to fight back from injury quite hard to get back where she is again today, scoring very important goals for her club. At the age of only, only 26, Ada Hegeberg has become the all-time leading goal scorer of the Women's Champions League with 56 goals after overtaking Anja Mittag's record. Extraordinary Ada.